course, today the Supreme Court voted to overrule Roe v. Wade. So what's Montgomery County's response to this? Um, fortunately, we're not going to be affected by it, uh, other than we're likely to be the recipient of more people coming here to seek abortions. Um, that's why uh, I put that emergency money forward into the budget right, at, you know, right after we heard about their announcement that was going to be. And, uh, you know, the state law has changed that'll broaden the number of providers that can actually provide the service, which we hope uh, it takes the target off just a limited number of clinics because it'll be able to be performed in doctor's offices and outpatient settings. So we believe there's going to be a lot more opportunities. If they think that they can extend their um, reduction of women's rights to neighboring states, they're seriously wrong. And like I said, we're going to have nothing to do with it. Uh, we announced it. I don't know if you got our press release already. We're already banning our people. will not go to any conferences. We will not pay for conference fees. We'll not pay for travel. For any employee to go to any conference in a state that rolls back women's rights as a starter. And we are going to work on uh, advertising campaigns in that states with industries we're very interested in attracting and saying, why would you leave your women in jeopardy? Why do you want your female employees subject to the will of Governor Abbott and or Governor DeSantis? They should be free and bring your bring your employees to a state where they're free. We welcome you. We're you know, we're friendly to everybody regardless of, you know, orientation, race, creed, color. Um, it's a much better work environment for employees than staying in the state where your women have to live in fear. And we we we're gonna be serious here. You know, they wanna play, we can play, hopefully we can do some create some economic hardship for them, more than happy to do that. So the idea that they're allowing the views of a narrow group of people to become the dominant view over everybody else, and you can impose your religion on everybody else, is not the basis of a democratic society. If I wanted to live in a right-wing theocracy, I'd go someplace else.